when the Challenger blew up, you know, took a look at it, there was actually even a movie about it, and it turns out that you know, the, uh, the temperature that next morning was pre predicted to be 26 degrees, and the, 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 the um, allowable temperature for launch was 40 degrees. So like, you know, you would never even think of launching in that situation. But what happened was NASA, there was a lot of pressure to launch on time. President Reagan was gonna be giving a talk that night. There was a teacher on board. And so they went and they asked, uh, they went around to the, the rocket company, went around to all the companies, but to the rocket company and said, uh, do we have a go for launch? And an engineer said, no, you can't, it's too cold. And they said, can you prove that it's gonna blow up? I said, well, no, but you know, the data shows it's really too dangerous. And he says, well, we're gonna call back in half an hour, we, we expect a different result. And they dismissed him, and the manager said okay. And that guy thought it wouldn't clear the launch pad, but it did, but, <laughs> but not, not by much. And so they, he was, they were asking the wrong question. They were asking to prove the disaster. Like, you know, you don't get on an airplane and say, well, I'm gonna get on it as long as you can prove, uh, uh, <laughs> you know. Prove it's gonna, it's, yeah. You can't prove it's gonna crash, I'll get on, even though it's missing two engines. I mean, you know, you don't do that. So it was the wrong question. You, have to, you can't prove it's gonna be okay, but you have to demonstrate that it's gonna be okay. And with climate change, we certainly can't demonstrate. In fact, climate change has such a higher probability of catastrophe. If, if your airplane had a hundredth of the probability of disaster, you would never put your children on it. And of course, all of our children are on this one. So it's really a critical thing.